Hello, uh, we're Gorilla. Do we have sound? Now this noise will be familiar to many of you. It's of course the tube. Um, we want to bring everyone free Wi-Fi wherever they are on the tube, even between stations in the tunnels. We asked 150 regular commuters what they thought of this, and it was a resounding yes. In fact, 97%, we couldn't have been more delighted. What was really interesting was they wanted to use live social media whilst they were on the go as well. So we've built a peer-to-peer -peer network, and we're going to give you a quick demo of it. What this does is this provides captive content when you're in the tunnels. So here we're attaching to the, our Wi-Fi network. We have some captive content from London 24, and we also have live social media. This is not fakery. This is actually a minimum viable product. And you'll see here we send a tweet, and it will go in with the live Twitter feed that's hitting the other device. Bosh, actually worked, great. So we're delivering this curated content to a captive audience. The way it actually works, just to elaborate slightly, is that basically Steve's device, when he's on the train, could provide a signal when it goes into the tunnel to Alex's or Dan's over there. Now there's 4.3 million journeys per day on the busiest day of the year. And over the whole course of the year, that works out actually as 1.3 billion tube journeys. It's an enormous number. But how do you market something like Gorilla? Well, with Gorilla marketing, of course. So, <laughs> so we're actually um, talking to uh, London 24, in fact, to their business development director. And we're looking to have a meeting next week to discuss advertising opportunities. We've also been introduced to Dennis Publishing. Now, our go-to-market strategy, well, I used to be a commuter. I used to travel the same train every single day of the week at exactly the same time. It's kind of, can be tedious, and especially when you're sitting there with nothing to do. The thing is, the tube is a vast market, and like many of these vast markets, you need to break it down to bite-sized chunks so that you can get some kind of network effect and get a buzz going. We're gonna target just a single tube line in fact, the central line at the peak hours and saturate all those trains with seeders, effectively. These will be gorillas employed by us who have our system and will provide a network coverage throughout that service. We've produced this working prototype. It took us 24 hours of the event to produce. And we have the team, the skills, and uh, I have battle scars as well to pull this off. Thank you very much. Um, you mentioned 7,000 pounds on equipment. What's the equipment? Uh, this will be, well, we'll probably return, buy it on, get it on sale or return, I'd imagine. But this would be the actual devices. Uh, the minimum viable products, we used a Raspberry Pi to actually build the service. Uh, we'd anticipate it becoming an app, and therefore, after we've seeded the network, then people who join it um, would become other gorillas, effectively. So does that mean you actually need, in the tunnels themselves, some equipment? No, we don't need any agreement or cooperation from the train network themselves. It's purely people on the train with their personal devices, capturing internet traffic, and then relaying that onto others when they're out of coverage. Uh, and what's the distance you think you can get over well, I imagine, between trains to? Um, you can try attaching to it now. The Gorilla Network's live right now. Um, we'd imagine one Gorilla per carriage, realistically. Thank you. <laughs>